All right, what is going on, guys? My name is G Dog Casey, and welcome to the semifinals match of Born Gosu Underground 2v2 Division. Again, this tournament is all to figure out who is going to be the tag team champions at the beginning of Born Gosu Underground. These guys are going to represent the league as the best team in the division, and we are getting close to the end here. This is the semifinals between. Two amazing teams here. Let's jump in game and get started. We are on Dusty Gorge, and in the left portion of the map, we have Rex Required and Heated Stove representing Team Rexy Stove, if you would believe it. And on the right side, Cyrex and Sauce God representing Born Gouda. Those of you who don't know, Gouda is a type of cheese, and these players have shown the ability to cheese. Already we're seeing gas go down. One of my favorite things about Born Gouda is that they showed very incredible teamwork and in working together to set up a to set up winning army compositions or even just microwing as a team to win engagements. And that's something that I'm really looking forward to seeing from these two players on this side. Whereas on the other side, Heated Stove and Rex Required, I would say might be better individual players i think uh, i don't know everyone amazingly well right but i know that um i think rex required is like one of the best players on born gosu and uh, heated stove has a lot of knowledge and really seems like he knows what to do in almost every situation so i think these players individually are going to be rated higher than their uh, opponents but teamwork and cheese is what these guys can do to even the playing field here. It looks like Sauce God sticking with one base while Cyrex is moving into a second base and playing a more reserved style. What is this? What? Why are there so many spine crawlers being made already? Is this preemptive? So these players know what they're up against. We got a three racks coming out here for uh, Rex Required. Three racks reapers. This is gonna be fun already. I can already see it happening here. Sauce God's starting to make a few links here. Bank him up. He's got his speed on the way. He's staying in gas as well. He's gonna be in for a nasty surprise when he moves across the map and sees like three reapers. But here we go. Sauce God moving out. The overlords are coming on in. They're gonna see the spine crawlers actually. That should be enough for Sauce to realize maybe he shouldn't attack into that. But is he going to do it anyway? He's moving up. Speed's not quite done yet. Okay, he sees the defenses here. I think he's just poking in to get a look. He, he's going to know he can't he can't fight this, right? He doesn't want to lose all of his opening links here, I don't think. So he's going to be moving on out and getting out of there. Now these players are going to have to figure out what do we do now when, he, when Stove created three spine crawlers in his base preemptively. I don't even think it was scouted, to be honest, but he just probably watched the previous matches and figured out how these guys like to play. So, they're changing up their target. They're going to be moving over to Rex Required, but he's done a similar thing here with tons of Reapers at home. So now, this is only Sauce God, by the way, who's been putting on pressure here. I wonder if he had the help of Cyrex if it would be a little bit better, but I think Cyrex wants to move into a bit of a stronger composition of army. They do get the cancel on that expansion, which is pretty good here from Sauce God. And now Cyrex has joined the attack as well. They're going to try to get some damage done on this wall, but the Reapers can just fire away from behind the wall and get tons of damage done. Only Lings are streaming across the map here, both Cyrex and Sauce God. This is probably where they can actually take a fight. Despite the spine crawlers. they're going to be diving in on top of Stove's main base here. Starting to pick away. Now the Reapers are joining the fight as well. They're going to sit on the outside and just throw grenades into this fight. But Sasuke, er, Stone sorry, is taking so much damage here. The Spine Crawlers have almost all gone down. The third one is being targeted and taken out as well. These Reapers haven't really contributed much yet. But if they find a good spot... Oh man, these Reapers might get surrounded here. They're going to jump down to the low ground. Things are looking pretty good for Born Gouda here. I have to say, uh, Heated Stove has been picked apart and has pretty much nothing left. However, the Reapers are back and they're going to try to get as many kills as they can. A couple Reapers going down already. And more and more Ling streaming across here from Born Gouda. This might be enough. The Reapers are starting to dwindle in number. 
And now the Lings are free to just attack these buildings by heated stove. So on the surface here, it looked like the opening by uh, Rexy Stove was pretty well calculated, but they didn't have enough to deal with all of these lings from Born Gouda. Yeah, they want to bust down this wall now. Banelings en masse are being created. Cyrex making 15 Banelings. I think that is enough, guys, to break down this wall. Don't quote me on that. We're about to find out. The Reapers here are going to do what they can to stop this attack from happening, but I don't think they can do it. Here we go, the Banelings crashing in on the entry bay, the rest of the Lynx forcing themselves into the base here and things are not looking good for Rex required here. There are so many Lynx, not that many Banelings left, but these Reapers are getting surrounded behind the mineral line. Again, being pretty slippery here, these Lynx probably want to be helping with the fight to be honest and all these SCVs are going to be able to tank pretty well as they get blown apart by grenades. And somehow... Rex Required has managed to stay alive for now, but more Lings are coming in. Yeah, you don't want to trickle in like this. They need one more big concentrated attack on Rex Required, and I think they'll be able to make it happen. I don't know why this base landed over here, but it is here, and the Lings of Sothgod are starting to pick across or pick up, pick apart heated stove here. He's got no drones, no money, so he's pretty much out of the game. It's all going to be on these Reapers to defend. Now a bunch of Lings are streaming across the map here, and this is the number that Born Gouda needs in order to take out these Reapers, which are still being produced by Rex Required back at home. This command center likely to burn. Oh, a little bit of a little bit of miscommunication between the Born Gouda teammates here. Cyrex went in alone. Sauce God wasn't quite ready for that engagement, so they split up here. And I think Sauce is gonna go into the main while Cyrex keeps the Reapers busy. Ah the it's down. It's down. Run in. Okay, he's just gonna kill it anyway. It doesn't matter. A couple of the reinforcing Reapers getting picked off, and now Cyrex running into the mineral line. I don't think he really wants to be here. I think the main goal of Born Gouda should be to trap these Reapers and take them all out at once. Once all the Reapers are dead, as you can see, this amount of Reapers, they, they can kill the Lings pretty quickly if they're not the ones being targeted. But if you have a big swell of Lings, and you can surround the reapers then that's when things are going to be a bit better now we see sauce god moving into a spire and yeah you only need to send like four lings over here to kill everything that stove has we've got five mutas on the way coming from sauce god and mutas are pretty good against reapers if i do say so myself and that might be the tsn turning point here for born gouda as the mutas swoop in how is Rex Required going to deal with that? Cyrex looks like he's just taking another base and he's just macroing up as well. He doesn't have a lair, but he's making a, a spine crawler, just making sure that, you know, they can't lose to anything now because they have a pretty significant lead. Heated Stove managed to get one drone out. I wonder if his teammate lent him the money to do that. <laughs> just gave him like five minerals so he could make a, uh, a drone. Looks like they want to attack up here. Cyrex has a spine crawler, but he's going to need a little bit more than that. Where are all the lings for these guys? The lings seem non-existent, but the mutas, they're going to come on in here. That queen's going to die very quickly, but with the mutas jumping in, that literally, like, what is Rex probably going to do? He's going to have to run away now and hopefully not lose too many of these reapers, but the mutas are fast enough to keep up. And they do AoE damage with their glaives bouncing off each reaper. That's going to stop them from regening health as well. So more and more Reapers are going down here as Sauce God is chasing Rex Required across the map. We got three command centers here for Rex Required, but nowhere to mine from. And it looks like the Mutas... Hmm, trying to figure out what they want to do. Oh, he... <laughs> Stove was going for a spine crawler rush. That's not going to work. It was creative, to say the least. There is a uh, turret in the mineral line, but these reactors are going to start going down. That's really going to hurt Rex Required's ability to make marines, of course, to take out these uh, these mutas. It looks like they're not really caring on what they're focusing on. Because we got more links from Sauce coming across. What is where are Cyrex's units? Does he have any units? Cyrex is only making okay. He's making roaches now. I have a feeling this game is going to be over before the roaches even join the fight. 
as the Reapers for Rex Required trying to move across, get a counterattack done. This is so many mutas though, and there's pretty much nothing around to take them out. He's dropping. <laughs> He's trying to steal all the mules or all the minerals from Soft God with these mules mining. I think the writing's on the wall here, guys. Rex required, being clever, stealing a, you know, probably not significant number of uh, minerals from Soth God. And the mutas are just going ham. The Lings have joined the fight as well. The roaches for Cyrex are somewhere. They're just playing defense, which I think is smart. You know, why would you risk them on the other side of the map if you already know you're probably going to win? These Lings here... Trying to get some damage done, but there's a few Marines in position. GG says Rex required. As the turret gets taken out, these mutas for Sauce got doing work, and it looks like Born Gouda is going to have what it takes to go up 1 0. Cyrex just has an incredible amount of roaches here. Yeah, so, you know, despite them not being very useful in the game, had Sauce got mutas been defended in any aspect at all, then the amount of roaches from Cyrax was going to be the follow-up. And it was most likely going to be too much there. So, Born Gouda takes game number one and moves up 1-0. They are now one match away from moving to the Born Gosu Underground 2v2 Division Finals. This game could be the one. So, let's just get into it. On Overgrown Facility... It looks like both players from Team Rexy Stove, who we can see here in the bottom side of the map, Rex Required and Heated Stove. We're playing the meta game a little bit. It started off with incredibly defensive openers, but it wasn't quite as cheesy from Born Gouda, Cyrex, and Sauce God. This time, however, they're mixing it up. They're going right for that quick gas. We've seen them do this before. I think this is what Stove and Rex expected in the last game. And since they didn't do it, we're going to be seeing a hatch first here from Stove. And a gasless opening. Well, I say gasless. It's not going to be gasless, but it's going to be the barracks before the gas. Which is slightly more economic, slightly less defensive. So things might work out here. Born Gouda has their eyes on the prize. And we'll see what they can get done with their cheesy opening. I expect lots of damage. I expect them to attack the Zerg player as well, since there's not going to be a wall. Poor Stove has been the target in a lot of matches recently. Playing Zerg, can't wall off, so you're kind of wide open for an attack of this caliber. As the spawning pools are about to finish, we're going to see those lings get made. There we go. We see speed starting for both players. And both players are staying in gas as well. So last time we saw Born Gouda do this, one player moved, like they skipped Banelings and moved into Roaches, and the other player made Banelings. I hope to see a similar thing here from them. However, Rex is once again going for that very quick three racks. He's going to be making Reapers again. The Reapers were the best chance for Rexy Stove to win that last match. So I like that decision. It looks like Rex. Er, it looks like Stove is going to try to be a bit more economic. Well, Rex is going to be the defender. But here come the Lings now, all grouped up. Sauce God and Cyrex together. A Reaper might spot this. In fact, a Reaper will spot this. These Lings don't want to care about that Reaper. But now he's going to try to defend his teammate with grenades. Nice zoning control there. Going to need a little bit more than that, though. Nice micro from Cyrex moving the weakened... Ling's back, and this is going to be huge here. This Baneling nest going down. Baneling's already being morphed here for Cyrex, and it's going to be up to these Ling's to zone out the Reapers. Oh, no, he wants those Baneling's to stay alive here. Speed hasn't kicked in yet, so these Reapers are very strong. Baneling's are done. They're going to try to get into the mineral line. The splits are already there for Stove. Well played here from Stove, splitting his Ling's all over the place. The Reapers are taking some damage. One of them, oh, one of them goes down. Two of them went down. Just before they can leap off the cliff. And look at Cyrex with his Banelings zoning out the Red Lings. We've seen this before. This Queen here is just doing lots of damage. Once again, Stove has to split the the Roach, or the Drones, I mean. 
And Rex Required done a pretty good job keeping his Reapers alive. Two of them died up here. That being like not going to be too helpful as it does get picked off by the Queen. And Stove is just trying to mine. There's a lot of red links here. They're going to win this fight with Reaper support. And oh no, we see Born Gouda forced back into their main with their tails between the legs. And it looks like Rexy Stove has defended this so far. The Reapers have proved very useful, and now they're moving across the map. But the thing is, both teams have link speed. Stove doesn't have a lot of links here. What are we going to see? The blue links are trying to get us around on these Reapers. More Reapers are joining the fight. A huge Bane Ling hit there. And there's no more red links. Now, the thing is, this amount of Reapers can kite even speed links, and these Bane Lings are not going to stand a chance. They die so fast that the Reapers and Rex Required is continuing to push forward. Stove is trying his best to reinforce with Lings. Doesn't have a large number, but any number will help. And more Bane Lings coming in here for Stove. The Reapers are looking like they are they have their eyes set on Cyrex. These Bane Lings are pretty vulnerable up here. But it looks like the dust is going to settle a little bit. Rexy Stove trying to figure out who's going to be the best choice to attack here. Looks like they're going to choose Cyrex. The Reapers are coming in. Don't want to go up the ramp. There's Banelings up there. Nice location to jump up. They're going to see the Banelings morphing. And Stove is using his Banelings to soak... Or his Lings, sorry, to soak up the Cyrex Banes. And now Cyrex has almost nothing here. This Queen is going to die incredibly fast. The Banelings are going to get so many hits on these drones. Now all of Sauce God's Lings are joining the fight. Everything is bouncing around. These Reapers might get surrounded. But the Micro from Rex Required is so good here. He barely loses anything and Sauce God loses almost all. Okay, well now, uh-oh. Just as I was saying that, it looks like most of the Reaper is gonna be going down here. Cyrex has seven workers, Sauce God has 12. Both red players have much more workers mining back at home. Very interesting game here as Stove has moved out. He's gonna find himself in a bit of trouble against all of these blue lings. With no more Reapers to support, he can't quite make it happen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can we get a Craigasm in chat, please, as we see one of the biggest explosions of the tournament here. And Born Gouda not feeling so confident now, are they? As Rex Required is continuing to pump out only Reapers. He's making more barracks and just going, sp just going Reapers. And the more and more he gets, the easier this is going to get for them. Stove, though, needs a little bit of support. The Banelings are what he needs, and that's exactly the hit he required. Stove barely comes out on top in that engagement. He's got more Lings, and the Reapers are going to be joining the fight as well. What can Born Gouda do to defend against this? As they are running out of steam pretty quickly, there's no defenses in Cyrex's main. And Cyrex looks like he has left the game. GG, that is going to do it. And Rexy Stove are going to pull it back and tie the series up at 1-1 with an incredible game. And that made Born Gouda look defeatable. I mean, for sure, obviously, they defeated them, right? They won that game. But they made it look much easier than, uh, than it's looked in the past. So here we go, guys. Once again, a game three here. This time we're in the semifinals. The winner of this game... Goes on to play in the championships. Let's go ahead and introduce the players here on Traders Exile. In the top left corner, Rex Required and Heated Stove representing Rexy Stove. And at the bottom right corner, Cyrex and Sauce God representing Born Gouda. This is their final chance to make it into the championships. Now it does look like there's a third place match in this tournament. So the loser of this round does isn't necessarily out. They have a chance to be third place. So let's see what happens here. What are Born Gouda doing? Oh, they're not getting that gas yet. Both players moving for an expansion first. Heated stove. Showing he definitely likes that hatch first play style. Are we seeing barracks again here? We'll have to wait and see. Rex Required's three racks Reaper play has been very powerful, so I expect him to do it again. And it looks like he is. <clears throat> so, 
it's kind of interesting how that three racks play works in the 2v2 against Born Gouda because initially the Reapers were used for defense against the Cheese, right? But when no Cheese is coming at them, the Reapers are then going to be able to put on all the pressure. So let's see how that plays out. Going to have to wait a bit for these buildings to finish and for those Reapers to get in production. Everything super standard here from Stove <clears throat> and Sauce God and Cyrex. Pretty much all the Zerg players doing the exact same thing here. Cyrex was able to get a scout off. I'm not sure that he was able to see everything. If he knew that it was only Reapers in production, he could just fly his Overlord right in there and just watch everything happen. A very quick Baneling Nest going down for Heated Stove, and I have a feeling that it's going to be the red team this time that's going to be putting the pedal to the metal. With a Baneling Nest and Speed coming down and Lings in production. It's going to be pretty tough here for Born Gouda. Now, a lot of Lings are being made from Cyrex. He's getting his own Baneling Nest as well. So despite the hatch first opening, he's still being pretty aggressive here with Lings. And so is Sauce God. Everybody is pooling up Lings. Including Heated Stove. And we're about to see a clash of the ages here between one player controlling Mass Reaper and the other players controlling Mass Lings with potential Bane Lings added in as well. The Reapers have already joined the fight, throwing their grenade, causing havoc in the blue team's base, and now with the Zerglings following up, and more and more Reapers adding to the fight, it's going to get very hectic here for the blue team. Nice Overlord placement here for Cyrex, but all that's going to do is allow him to see the aggression coming in, which is going to be very important. Banelings coming in for Cyrex as well. The Reapers are a little bit isolated here. Now, Sauce God's Speed has finished before Stove, so Stove is actually losing quite a bit of links. Those Bane links didn't get quite the hits they wanted. Now there's a whole bunch of craziness happening here as the Reapers are just DPSing from the outside. It looks like Stove lost all of his forces here, and the Reapers are going to find themselves in a bit of trouble. Going to have to use the ledge here to their advantage. And this is just crazy. Stove is having the pressure put on him once again. There are so many blue forces here. But the, it's all going to be on the Reapers as to finding out how well the red team can defend. Two Banelings here. Looking to get some action done. Moving on up into the main base. But the Reapers are going to be able to take them out very easily. Banelings don't get anything done. Now this base is under fire here for Heated Stove. Reapers are coming to protect against that. They find a very nice place in the mineral line. All of those links die so fast if you can't get a surround on the Reapers. There are so many blue links streaming across the map here. But continuous Reaper production once again from Rex Required is saving the day here for the red team. More Bane Links coming in for Stove. He's trying to get a number of Links out that can be useful, but he keeps finding himself in a rough spot. Losing all of his Links, not getting great hits with Bane Links so far this game. But when the Reapers are there and they're supporting, then it's a different story. The Ling's job for Heated Stove is basically to tank the Ling's of of uh, Born Gouda while the Reapers just sit behind and just do so much damage. We'll be seeing that happen again. The Overlord for Heated Stove sees where all the Ling's are. The Bane Ling's are leading. A few Ling's do go down. See, the Reapers can just kill these Bane Ling's. And that's what's happening here. The Reapers kiting back the Bane Ling's. No more Bane Ling's for Born Gouda. So it's going to be on Stove. Can he get some huge Baneling hits? His, his Banelings are not joining the fight. The Reapers are finding themselves almost surrounded. Now the Banelings are joining. But look at that. The Banelings weren't even required. So now Rex, <coughs> who is required, is going to just move his Reapers around here. Try to find some more favorable engagements. The Banelings don't have anything to do here. Alright, here's something they can do. They can zone out these Lings. But the Reapers barely even need it. He sends two Reapers up to the high ground for vision and just picks off the rest of the Lings. Stove is trying to follow up with a few more Lings here to help out in the fight. There are Roaches out here for Sauce God, which are pretty good against Reapers. And now Stove moving on into Cyrex's base. The Bane Lings are here. The splits are pretty good. Are they good enough? Oh my god. Okay. A lot of, yeah, a lot of drones going down here. Rex. Cyrex leaves the game. Rex required. 
stays in the game, of course, and he is going to start taking down Cyrex's base. And they're going to have to hold this high ground here against the Roaches. Sauce God has a lot of Roaches here. Oh, man. It's so difficult to cast 2v2 here without getting all tongue-tied and missing things across the map. But it looks like all the action here is important. Cyrex's base doesn't really need to be focused down, to be honest. The Reapers are coming in on the Roaches, canceling these Ravagers. And Heated Stove's Lings are able to support as well. Sauce God is running out of steam. Yeah. The Ravager not going to do too well against the Reapers with no armor here. So, Spawning Pool goes down here. Sauce God is trying his best to keep his team in it. But it looks like it's going to be a tall order as the Lings and Reapers are surrounding all of the Roaches here. The Spine Crawler here is pretty decent, especially against the Reapers. But they don't have to fight that location. They're going to run on up into the Mineral Line here. Sauce God is in a lot of trouble. This is going to be the final engagement. Rip Born Gouda. You did your best, but... The Reapers from Rex Required were enough to take you down. That is going to do it. 2018, 2018. GG. And Rexy Stove, despite dropping the first match of the series, are going to be moving into the finals. And they're going to be going up against Cancer KO, who managed to get a walkover in the semifinals due to unfortunate events from makai and paul not being able to play so cancer ko and rexy stove is going to be your born goes to underground 2v2 division finals that is going to be a best of five match of the ages we're going to be looking forward to that one uh and i'm not exactly sure when we're going to be bringing it to you but as soon as the games get played and i get the replays i'm going to cast them so guys thank you so much for watching this tournament so far it is almost at an end like i said we do have a third place match that i'm not necessarily sure is go going to even be played if it does get played i will cast it however the finals match uh definitely going to be played and definitely going to be casted and as soon as i get access to that i'll be getting that done for you guys but thank you so much for watching up to this point once again a huge thanks to yeezus for putting this tournament on for us and uh, allowing us to see some awesome 2v2 stuff. And that's it. That's it, guys. Thanks so much. And we will see you in the finals.